Hello, my name is Mary McDonald, and I play President Laura Roslin on Battlestar Galactica. I am in New York City in the offices of the Sci-Fi Channel, and I'm here to answer questions on the Battlestar Forum. President Adar once said that the interesting thing about being a president is that you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. Sci-Fi. Dear Miss McDonald, in what ways are you similar to Roslin, and in what ways do you differ? Um, I am similar to Roslyn in that if someone gives me a job to do, I take it very seriously and uh, I feel horrible if I don't complete it. I Contact am similar to her Center. in that I've been given a lot of power in my life that I wasn't necessarily uh, aiming for or had an aspiration yes. to. Wait, wait a minute, who put you in charge? The answer is no one, but this is a government ship and I am the senior government officials, so that puts me in charge. So why don't you help me out and go down into the cargo area and see about setting it up as a living space? I am different from her in that I have a full, full, full personal life <laughs> and so far have my health. I have a family, a husband of 22 years, a huge family of siblings, you know, cousins, aunts, uncles, dogs, cats, things like that, as well as this sort of really committed and vibrant work life. And so I think that's the biggest difference between us. She's a bit of a loner, and I'm not. Uh, this question is from Anna Sadai. Have I ever disagreed with Ron Moore about decisions he's made regarding my character ethics? If so, how did I deal with it? Yes, I have disagreed with Ron Moore. Um, very early on in season one, I felt that Laura Roslin was demonized right out of the gate. The strong leader woman who no one trusts. Well, personally, I'd feel a lot better if someone qualified were in charge around here. Is something wrong with your pilot? No, it's just that he's not the one giving orders. And so I argued a lot with Ron about the speed with which that cliché started to occur. And, of course, he didn't see it that way. Uh, but basically we talked about allowing her to grow into the character that she needed to be and to back off on constantly perceiving her negatively by all the other characters. That was kind of an undermining of her. Captain. Good to see you again. Likewise. Thanks for the lift. <laughs> you should thank her. So we had a few discussions about this, that. And, um, and how would I do it? I would do it through email. And eventually they cut me out. They wouldn't listen to my emails anymore. They don't answer me. So, no, we're still good friends. But I have backed off a little on my emails to Ron Moore. Captain, I'd like you to look over the navigational charts for a likely place to hide from the cyclone. Ladies in charge. Okay. The next one is from Homer Seidel. Hi, Homer Seidel. Nice to meet you. What do you do to relax while not actually filming? Good question. I like to read books. Uh, I like to be outdoors. I love to be with my family. Um, and I love to spend time in our summer home where we do a lot of boating and we're, we're really in the woods and on the lakes and in the mountains and things like that. That's what I like to do. And lately, and this is a very latent development in me, I've started to enjoy cooking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>